Hello guys, from this video I am starting a new video series on C++ for beginners. So why do we care about learning C++? C++ is the most popular language of modern times and by using C++ you can develop modern uh, games, modern uh, programs like if you want to uh, program a microcontroller or microprocessor, you can use C++ for uh, programming those microcontroller or microprocessor. Because C++ is a superset of C, so it's more uh, modular, more object oriented and more easier to understand and implement than C. So, for example, if you see digital watches or digital thermometer or digital anything, you can use C++ to program those devices or even modern robots also you can program using C++. Now, for developing C++, we need to use something on which we can write and compile our C++ program. So uh, these things or this software on which we can write and compile our program are called IDEs. And what are IDEs? IDEs are the full form of IDE is Integrated Development Environment and it help us to um, write and compile our program. So let's download a free IDE uh, for compiling C++ and just open first of all your favorite browser and in the search just write code blocks and search for this and the first link here you will find is www.codeblocks.org just click this link and why I'm choosing code blocks because code blocks is a cross platform and free IDE for developing C, C++ and even Fortran. So that means you can use or you can use this IDE on Windows as well as Linux operating system like Ubuntu or Linux Mint or even Mac OS you can use this IDE. So most of the uh, operating system uh, supports this IDE, right? And now how do we download and install this IDE? Just go to this download tab and in here there are three options for you. Download the binary release, download the source code and retrieve source code from SVN that is sub version. The link we are interested in is this link. Download the binary release. Just click this link and in here there are different downloadable options like Linux or Mac OS but the one we are interested in is for Windows. And here also there are three options to download this code blocks. And the option we are interested in is this middle option which is code blocks minus the version. The latest version is 13.12 right now and min gw minus setup. So just download this option with min gw. So just Select this option and just click the sourceforge.net and it will download code blocks on your computer. And once this code blocks IDE is downloaded, you just save it and run this installer. I have already downloaded the code blocks on my system, it's not really a rocket science you just need to click some next buttons and code blocks will be installed on your 
system. Okay, so once code blocks is installed in you know, on your system, just go to the start button and just open this code blocks from this start menu. And this will open code blocks here. And now for creating a new project in code blocks, you can either click this option here or you can go to this file menu here and go to new and new project okay and there are different options we can develop using code blocks like you can program arm devices arm devices that means microprocessors or some other uh, kind of programs you can make with code blocks but the one we are interested in is this console application okay so just click this and click go and just click next and here there are two options C and C++ so obviously we will choose C++ because this is a C++ tutorial and click next and in here you need to write the name of your project okay so just give any name to your project for example test my prog or you can say my first prog or program okay and in here where it says folder to create project in you need to choose one folder in which you want to save your program so for the first time when you start this code block this option will be empty and you need to give some path here to a folder so that your C++ program can be saved in that specified path. So just give some path here in or give the path of the folder in which you want to save your project. Okay. And this will be generated automatically and click next. And the compiler we are using is G++ or GNU GCC compiler. There are other compiler available also, but by default, our compiler is GNU GCC compiler and press finish. And you can see here uh, our new project is created here called my first prog. And in here, there is a folder called source. And when you click this plus button here, this is a small plus button, you will be able to see this main.cpp file. And when you click this main.cpp, just double click it. And it will open this main.cpp in here in your workspace. And what is this main.cpp is? This is a file in which our program will be started, okay, or will be written. So by default, Code Blocks has generated a very simple program for us, which I'm going to explain in the next video. But what I'm going to show you is how you can compile this program. So once you have written your program in your IDE, you need to compile your program. That means you need to uh, verify uh, that if you have uh, committed any mistakes in your program while writing your program. So compiler recognizes mistakes or suggest suggestion if you have uh, done any mistakes in your uh, uh, program and it will make a binary or executable file for you which you can run. 
so how you can compile your program just select your project in my case this is my first project right click it and just search for the option called build okay so just click this option build and you can see here our program is built now and it has zero errors zero warnings that means our program is successfully compiled now to run your program you can either press this button or you can go to build and press run button here okay and there is a build option here also which we have used here earlier so just go to build and click this run button and you can see this ex this terminal has started and it has printed hello world because it's our first program and this is to print hello world so you can see here hello world and this other thing is uh, a default so this you don't really care about but the message we wanted to show is hello world so in this way you can download and install code blocks ide on your windows operating system in the next video i will also show you how you can download and install code blocks on your linux operating system like ubuntu so if you want uh, to use windows you can skip that video and uh, you can directly jump to the first uh, video where I will show you how this program works. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you have learned something new this time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.